What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can flash gapps onto your um, Android device. In this case I'm using Nexus 7 as an example, but you should be able to use, um, it. this method should work for um, any jailbroken, I, I mean any rooted um, Android device. So typically what happens is after you install a custom ROM, you're going to have to flash gapps if you want Google apps such as um, email, Gmail, YouTube, Google Plus, etc. And I do highly recommend that you flash uh, G apps because these are basically the core apps for any Android device. Due to license restrictions, um, custom ROM makers are not allowed to bundle G apps together with the custom ROM, so we have to flash them um, on our own. So first thing you want to do is go click on the link um, in the description or on the screen that you see now to download the latest gapps as of um, the making of this video. If you're watching this video at a future time, you might want to just Google it for um, the, uh, the gapps, for, for the latest gapps. So I already have that on my desktop. It's right here. Now I'll pop into your device and we want to enable USB debugging. So go into settings. Once again, go into settings, developer options, and turn on developer options, confirm OK. And down in the section where it says debugging, under Android debugging, you want to check it to allow debugging. And you can set notification as well. So once you do that, you should have Android file transfer pop up. If you have not installed Android file transfer, um, you can go look at my video on uh, installing Android file transfer, or for that matter, you know rooting and installing custom ROMs so you can check out those videos as well if you don't already have a custom ROM because this video is um, meant specifically for people who already have a custom ROM. So once that pops up what you want to do is you just drag this into the root of your device and copy it right there. So as you can see I have gapps here on the device and that's it for um, using the desktop because the rest of the process will now take place on the device itself. So go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now if you don't have the option to reboot into recovery um, like I do on the Cyanogen mod ROM, you can just uh, turn it off and then hit the power and up and down volume buttons at the same time to reboot into recovery. But I have the option of um, rebooting into recovery f straight from here so I'm going to press OK. So just wait for it to get into recovery. And once in, what you want to do is hit install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and scroll down to find um, the GApps that you've just transferred. Hit gapps, click yes, install gapps. And go back and hit reboot system now. Just optimizing the <clears throat> apps that you have. Okay, now that's done, let's pop in to apps and you can see you have Gmail, Play Store, Google Search, Voice Search, Talk, right? All the things that were not there before. Now, um, you don't see Google Plus or YouTube, but those or Maps, um, but those can be um, installed from the Play Store relatively easily. So that was flashing G apps onto a rooted and custom ROMed um, Nexus Seven, which would work for any other Android device as well. Thanks for watching.